Hi students, welcome to English class. Today we will discuss from snapshot the topic the address written by Marga Minko. Dear students, when you speak about the topic the address, you know what is the address means. If you want to visit any place, any office or anywhere, then you need to have complete address. Then only you can go, isn't it? So let's discuss the story, the address. It is, there are three characters, the narrator, Mrs. S and Mrs. Darling. So Mrs. Darling is the old acquaintance, acquaintance of Mrs. S. And Mrs. S' daughter is the narrator in this story. So the narrator goes in search of the belonging of her family or mother, that mother. So as she goes, she goes to the do Mrs. Dorling's door and rings the bell. Mrs. Dorling comes and opens the door a little. Then Mrs. the narrator introduces herself that I am the daughter of Mrs. S. Then did you know me? asked narrator. But Mrs. Darling refused, saying that I don't know you. Who are you? And then she was just nothing saying, just she was staring and behaving in an absurd manner. Then what happens? She closes the door and goes. Then as she was going, the narrator got a glimpse of green knitted cardigan, which was worn by Mrs. Dolly and she was sure that uh, she had reached the correct address and she was standing there and then uh, watching as she was standing on the steps for some times and watching she sure that uh, someone is watching her from the bay window and she knew that maybe someone may be asking about the narrator and then uh, why the narrator came here that was maybe going on the discussions that is what was going on in the mind of the narrator then what happens the narrator moves back to the station thinking very unpleasant manner she was feeling very sorry and then uh, went back all the as she was walking back towards the stations all the street the houses, everything was familiar to her. She doesn't want to upset herself. Just she went, she comforted herself, she counseled herself and she went back. After some days, after some months, she decided herself again she want to visit the same place. When the war got down or when the war ended, the Second World War during the Nazis, when the war subsided, again she wanted to visit the same address, the address which was given by Mrs. S one year ago. Then again she decided and visited the place. So when she visited the same place, that was the Marconi Street in Holland. So the 15 years old girl, Mrs. Dorlings, daughter opened the door and asked. Then the narrator said, I want to visit your mother. Then the 15 years old girl replied that her mother is not at home. So the narrator says, I want to visit, I want to talk to your mother. Then the 15 years old girl welcomed her and then she led her to living room. As they went into the passage, to the living room, she found many things similar or familiar to her. So she remembered the past experience, past life, as she was using all the things in their family. So as they went to the living room, after reaching there, the 15 years old girl took out the teapot and she wanted to serve her. The teapot is the holder of the teapot has the golden border 
and she reminds the narrator reminds the silver cutlery the table clothes the vase large vase all those things she reminds and everything is scattered and uh, kept in a bad manner so the narrator feels very sad very sorry seeing the things whatever they were using in their family so as the 15 years old girl was serving at the time the narrator hinted her that we who had the silver cutlery the spoon the plates whatever we are using in daily life eh that was made of silver and the 15 years old girl she doesn't know that term eh? it was made of silver and they were using in their daily life eh those silver cutlery so the narrator says indirectly that term eh? they too had the silver cutlery and then eh? it is missed now it may be missed in the original house or it is may be given to someone else that is what the narrator says then what happens she think, thought that uh, if she takes all those things she won't accommodate in her room because the narrator was staying in a small house the small rented house so she cannot take the things and accommodate there it is not at all possible that is why she counseled herself comforted herself that not to take the things from that house so that is why as she was reminded by her mother that um, when they are all account as mrs dolling used to visit the house eh, every visit she used to take the things because if anything happens suddenly if they have to move then they cannot save anything that is why mrs dolling was taking the things and eh, keeping them so all those things most of the things were missed and then many things whatever was there it was not in a proper manner that is why the narrator said the narrator decided as said not to take the things and then the second thing is in the narrator was staying in a small room if she takes the things the belongings eh she cannot accommodate in her room so just she want to see touch and remember and then feel it that is what then after that what happens she recounts resolution resolute herself she decided herself that uh, not to take any things from the house or from the mrs dorling's house so she goes back here we conclude the story thank you thank you very much dear students i hope all of you understood thank you very much